Hi, this is Evan Rubin at Lark, and I'm going to tell you how to log in to our Blackboard Collaborate virtual classroom. The first thing you need is a link, a participant link, to enter the classroom. Perhaps we sent it to you in an email, or maybe you found it on our website and you're going to attend one of our workshops. Or perhaps the link is in a Moodle course with a class that you're taking at San Diego State. Either way, what you need to do is press the link and it will shoot you off to this website and ask you to enter your name. I'm going to put my full name in there. You can put your first name, last name, institution you work at. Whatever you put in there, that's what the other participants will see in the virtual classroom. Next, I'm going to press login. Now at this point, a few things might happen. If you have some special security options on your computer or on your browser, you might have a pop-up window appear. You need to unblock the pop-up and because you need to download uh, this program, Java Web Start, to launch the virtual classroom. Another thing might happen, perhaps you don't have the correct Java and it's not giving you this option. You can check to, ha to see if you have the correct Java and correct requirements in your computer by going to this website. You can go to Blackboard Collaborate website and over in support and first time users, I click here and it's going to uh, give me this option. I'm going to select here Blackboard Collaborate web conferencing and now it's going to check and tell me if I if my operating system has the correct requirements and you can see I have two big checks here so I'm good to go now I need to get this back so I have no problems opening up Java and so I'm gonna press OK now so now I need to wait this takes a few minutes to launch using Java Java is a script that allows the Blackboard Collaborate virtual office to open. You can find Java in many programs on your cell phones and web browsers on websites. It's a safe and secure uh, program. So if your computer asks you any security risk questions, just press OK. There's no real security risks with Java. Sometimes too, you might get here and nothing happens. You get this downloads and you, and you get the icon here and the file, but it's not launching automatically. Sometimes you need to double click and then it will start. So give it a minute. If it's not starting, come back here and give this a double click. But as you can see, mine launched okay and now I'm in my Blackboard Collaborate virtual classroom. Great, the first step is done. Now the second really crucial step is to set up your speakers and microphone because we're going to be using uh, voice to voice or voice over IP to communicate uh, between the participants or the presenters and the participant. So you need to have speakers and you need to have a microphone. And then once you have those set up and connected to your computer, or you can just use the internal ones that are in your computer, you need to test out your audio. Another thing I want to mention is the best way to have the clearest audio and, and clearest microphone is to use a headset. I have a Logitech headset which cost me about $30. There's some headsets for $10 and those work great. I recommend getting a headset if you're going to be continually using this Blackboard Collaborate virtual classroom or virtual office. Now let me show you how to test out your audio. What we're going to be doing is running the audio setup wizard. I'm going to come up to tools. Whoops. Let me get the blackboard here. I'm going to come up to tools, audio, and audio setup wizard. Now I'm on a Mac, so this might look a little bit different if you're on a PC. First, I need to select the speakers I'm going to use. You can see I have three choices here. I'm going to use my internal speakers. And then I'm going to press OK. And now I'm going to play the test. I press stop because I heard the, the recording clearly. If you did not hear that recording or if the levels weren't right for you, you can press no and try again. 
But for me, the levels were fine and I can hear clearly. So the speakers I know will work uh, during the meeting or the webinar. So I'm gonna press yes. Next is my selection of microphones or input. You can see I have five options. Right now I have connected a, an external microphone called the Blue Snowball. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna press OK. Now to test out the microphone, you need to record a message. So I'm gonna press record. Test, 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 test. And I heard that just fine. It recorded it. I could hear it. I said test, test. And so I could press yes. But if that did not work for you, you should press no and try again. Perhaps you selected um, a different microphone or you weren't sure which microphone to select. So just press no and select a different one. If you can hear your recording, that means your microphone is working fine and you can press yes. And then it's asking if, if uh, everything worked okay and you can press okay. And now I'm ready to go. So here we are in uh, the Blackboard Collaborate interface for our, our uh, virtual classroom. Let me show you around really quickly some of the main um, buttons here. Right here in the audio and video module, we have the talk button so I can turn my microphone on and off. I have the video for my webcam. Let me show you, give you a quick hello. So I have my webcam on and with other people in here, everyone can turn uh, their webcam on up to six people. Below that is the chat box and this is a great way to communicate uh, between the other participants, ask questions to the presenter or the moderator of the meeting. So all I have to do is press chat or message and I can write anything I want. I can write questions, comments, I can post links and it's a great way to communicate. Now below that is the participant module and here I'll be able to see all the different people who are attending this meeting or class. Just above there, I can, uh, there's some emotion buttons. I can give a virtual applause. I can give a virtual smiley face. Here I can raise my hand. And here, if the uh, presenter or moderator asks me a question, yes or no question, I can vote right here. No or yes. And then right here on the whiteboard, this is called the whiteboard. I have my whiteboard tools. One of the more uh, useful tools is this pointer tool. It gives you this little hand and it allows me to point around the, the whiteboard here where I loaded my PowerPoint and I can show people around and, and, and uh, so people's eyes can follow as I move around the screen. Another really functional and, uh, and powerful tool is this writing tool where everybody who's participating can write on the whiteboard. So if the presenter or teacher or moderator asks you to brainstorm on the whiteboard or write questions on the whiteboard, you'll use this big A tool right here. And then you click on the whiteboard and you can write. So that's all I have for now. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Here is my email. It's erubin at projects .sdsu.edu and I'll try and get back to you as quick as possible and uh, good luck web conferencing.